So your plans are to install a new floor over concrete or gypsum with tech self-leveling underlayment. It's important to know that any time you use tech self-leveling underlayment, that you also need to use tech multi-purpose primer to enable the bond of the SLU. Before you prime, make sure you know your substrate. For porous substrates, you need to dilute the primer so it soaks into the substrate. For non-porous substrates, there's no need to dilute the primer to be effective. Now we're going to show you how to apply the primer with self-leveling underlayment over two clean porous substrates, concrete and gypsum. Let's start with concrete. First, let's see how absorbent the concrete is using the water droplet test. So I have my water and my eyedropper. I'm just gonna take a couple drops of water, about the size of a dime, time it, see how long it takes to soak in. So it absorbed in less than 30 seconds, so that means it's porous, and we're going to need to mix our primer one part primer to three parts water. All right, it's been almost 45 minutes and our primer's nice and dry and we're ready to go ahead with our self-leveler. So you've seen the concrete application. Another common porous substrate is gypsum. Primer application over gypsum is similar to application over concrete with slight differences. We start the same way we did on concrete with the water droplet test. So this absorbed in less than 15 seconds, making it a very porous substrate. This is where the gypsum application is different. Two coats of multipurpose primer are always needed when applying to gypsum. First coat would be one part primer to four parts water. And the second coat would be one part primer to two parts water. Okay, so the primer's done. We're ready for the self-leveling underlayment. Let's apply it just like we did over the concrete. So there you have it, the application of tech self-leveling underlayment with tech multi-purpose primer. Remember, always read your instructions on the label before you start your installation. For more information or to ask a question, head on over to techspecialty.com slash askaquestion.